now we'll see how to find a rank of matrix by normal form i have written all the steps here so we will be performing all these steps and and then there is a question where we have a matrix a given and we are asked to find a rank of matrix a by reducing it to the normal form and i'll reduce this a into normal form and you will see all the steps so the steps are quite simple here what we have to do is we have to use both see the first point we have to reduce we have to use both row as well as column operation and reduce this into the normal form now what that means is when we say reduce it in the normal form all we want to do here is we want to make this element one so there is a sequence that you have to follow first thing you will do is you will make this value one so right now we have two here we have to make this one now once you do that we will make all the values below that value all these to be made zero okay once you do that the next thing you will do is you will make all these values over here zero there is a sequence you have to follow okay once you do that the next thing you will have to do is you have to make this as one and then you will make all the values below are all zero okay and so on and so forth again you will make this as one and then this whole thing continues like that so first we will make this one then we'll make all these zero then all these zero then next is this one then all these zero then all these zero then this one this zero this zero and this one i hope you follow what i'm trying to say so this is a sequence we have to follow okay now you will anyway see when i solve this question that what sequence i will take here but the first thing first is i want to make this two as one okay and two ways you can do that you can simply do row 1 minus row 2 So if you do row one minus row two, that two minus one gives me ones, right? So two minus one is going to get me one that way. But then there is a smarter way to do that. So what is going to be the smarter way? Why don't you just switch the two rows here? I can write down row one two. Now what does that mean? That we will exchange row one and row two. So we'll exchange these two. Okay. And let us write down a. Now a is approximately or similar to. That's the symbol we'll be using. Now we're going to switch the two, right? So this second row will go first, and first row will become second. So it is one minus one minus two minus four, the first row, and the second row will become two three minus one and minus one. And with that, I achieved to get one at this position. It really makes your life easier. So I've done that, and then this is three one three. Minus two. The third row and fourth row are same. Six, three, zero, minus seven. I'm just going to solve each and every step. Okay. So see how that works. Now the next task is going to be to make all these zero. Okay. So if to make if you have to make all these zero. Okay. How will you make this two zero? You double the first row and subtract. Okay. See how the step is. R two becomes R two minus two R one. So you double this and subtract. so this will become zero now just note one point that i am not looking at the entire matrix i am only focusing on these values because my task is i want to make these zero so don't look anywhere else just focus on making these zero so how will you make 3 0 to make 3 0 the easiest thing you can do is make this three times and subtract then it will become zero make this six times and subtract you will make this as zero okay so let me write down those operation r2 minus 2 r1 the first operation then for r3 it will be r3 Minus three R one, and for R four it will be R four minus six R one. Now you have to be very careful and make sure that you don't make any mistakes here. Okay, and simply write down these operations. So all the second, third, and fourth row are going to be changing, but the first row will remain as it is. So one minus one minus two minus four as it is. We are not changing anything about this. And after we perform these operations, all these values are going to be zero for sure. That's Why we are doing them in the first place? So now I will teach you how to perform this operation. Be very very careful. That when we do R two minus two R one, okay, you can think of it as multiply R one by two and subtract that from R two. Multiply by two, so this will become two, and subtract that from R two, so this will become zero. Okay, that's the one way of thinking about it. But then I will rather suggest that instead of multiplying by two, you just multiply R one by minus two. Multiply R one by minus two and then add to R two. So what happens is this anyways becomes zero. See, if I multiply R one by minus two, this will become minus two. And if I add it here, it will become zero. Right? And that's exactly what I want. 
So now this operation is going to be multiply R1 by minus 2 and add to R2. Let's do that here. Multiply by minus 2 here, it will be 2. And add here, this will be 5. Okay, let's do this really slow. Multiply by minus 2 is give me 4. Two, minus 2 times minus 2 is 4. 4 and minus 1 is going to be 3. Multiply by minus 2 is going to give me 8. 8 and minus 1 is 7. Okay, that just makes it easier to do it. So now let's do the same way for the row 3 also. Now for row 3, okay, what is the operation here? The operation is R3 minus 3 R1. So 3 times of the first row and subtract. Okay, or you can do multiply by minus 3 and add. Okay, let's do that. Multiply by minus 3 here. It is minus 3 and add will become 0. Multiply by minus 3 is going to be 3. And add here will be 4. Multiply by minus 3 is 6. And add here is 9. Multiply by minus 3 is going to be 12. Minus 3 into minus 4 is going to be 12. 12 and minus 2 is going to give me 10. Okay. And uh, then let's do the last one. Row 4 minus 6 R1. So multiply R1 by minus 6 and add. This becomes 0. Multiply by minus 6. Then this is 6. And then add. So it's going to be 6 and 3 is going to be 9. Multiply by minus 6 here. Which is 12. 12 and 0 is 12 only. Multiply by minus 6 is 24. 24 and minus 7 is going to be 70. Right? So that's how I've reduced it. So we have, we have achieved so far the first one and all these zero. So we have got this and we have got all these zero. Now we're going to stick to our sequence. Don't change it. Okay. Now next I want to do is I want to make all these ones. And now this step is quite simple. Okay. If you want to make all these values one, sorry, if you want to make all these values zero. Okay. You can just simply add C2 and C1. So if you add C2 and C1, this one and minus one will become zero. And note all these are already zero, right? So these will not affect anything over here. So this will not change. Only this will become zero. I'll show you what I mean. Now, my next operation is going to be C2 becomes C2 plus C1. Okay. If I do that, now tell me what will happen. Let me write only so much that if I add a C2 and C1, C2 is column two, which is this column here. And C1 is column one. And if I add C2 and C1, it will be minus 1 plus 1 becomes 0. And then 5, 4, 9 won't change. And then this will be anyways 1, 0, 0. You don't want to change this at all. So I'll write that down. And then how will you do this? The next one. For column 3, if you want to make this 0, you multiply this by 2 and add. Okay. So C3 is going to be C3 plus 2 times C1. And uh, C4 is going to be c4 plus 4 times c1 okay so you'll get this 0 and get this also 0 and i hope you understood that none of these will change so this 3 this 7 9 10 12 and 17 everything else is as it is and the next i want to do is we've got one we've got all these below values are zero we've got all these zeros the next is i want to make this element one so how do I convert 5 into 1? Well, there are many ways you can do that. You can simply divide row 2 by 5. But dividing row 2 by 5 is not such a good idea because then other values will get spoiled, right? If you do row 2 by 5, then you will do, this will remain 0. This will become 1. This will become 3 by 5, which is not a good thing, right? So instead of doing that, the smart way to do it is you can do row 2 minus row 3. Okay, see this. If I do R2 becomes R2 minus R3. Now, if we, dis, if we do this step, it is going to give me 1, 0, 0, 0. And R2 minus R3 will give me 0 minus 0 is 0. Uh, 5 minus 4 is going to be 1. Nine, uh, 3 minus 9 is going to be minus 6. And 7 minus 10 is going to be minus 3. So basically, I wanted 1, which is a good thing. I got it over here. And everything else will remain just as it is. So this is 4, 9, 10. And then this is 9, 12, 17. Okay. So we got all these values here. Next you will do is R3. Okay. Now I want to make these two zeros, right? So I'll do R3 minus 4 R2. R3 minus 4 R2 will give me this zero. And the other step will be R4 becomes 
R4 minus 9 R2. If I do this operation, I'll make these two zeros. So let me write them here. It is a lot of writing though. 1, 0, 0, 0, the first row. Then second row will be as it is 0, 1, minus 6, minus 3. And then you will have 0. Okay, fine. Let's do this procedure now. Multiply R2 by minus 4 and add to R3. Multiply by minus 4 here and add to R3. The 0 won't change. Multiply by minus 4 over here. So you're going to get minus 4. And add here will become 0. So we got this 0. We want it to 0 anyways. Now you multiply here by minus 4. So 6, 4 is 24. 24 and 9. When we add it is going to be 33. Is that correct? Now multiply by minus 4 here. That is going to be 12. And 12 and 20 is going to be 22. So I got this as 22. Now R3 step is done. And now I'll do R4 minus 9 R2. Right? Now if I do R4 minus 9 R2, this will be 0. This is this will become minus 9 and add it becomes 0. Multiply by minus 9 here. So and, and, and add it over here. So if you solve that, the value is going to be 66. And multiply by minus 9 here. 27 and then, and then if you uh, add 17 do the solving you will get 44 I suppose okay so we've got these numbers now and uh, next is we've got one and these two are zero which is good now we want to make these two zeros right we have to do the column operation and make these two values zero and for that we will do now this is column three and this is column two if I do six times of column two, and if I add to column three, I'll make this zero. And if I do three times of column two, and if I add to column four, I'll make this zero. So let me write those steps here. The step is going to be C3 becomes C3 plus six C1. Is that correct? And C4, column four becomes column four plus three times, I'm sorry, it is C2. Right, and see, we are, we are working with C2, right? That's our one over here, which will make these two zero. So it's all C2. I hope you followed that step. And let's write this now. This is going to be uh, one zero 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 one. These two will become zero now. And then this is zero zero. This is 33 and 22. And then this is zero zero 66 and 44. So the next is I can easily make these two zero. Can you see what if I double these and subtract from here? I'm going to get these two zero, right? So what is going to be the step for that one? This is row four. Okay. Becomes R4 minus two times R3. If I double this and subtract, I'll make these zero. So this is going to be one zero zero zero. The first and second row as it is. The third row, 33, 22 as it is. And now when I double and subtract, it's going to be 0, 0, 0. This is 33. 0 and 0. Okay. Now we have to further simplify this. Let me clear some space and write this down now. So let's continue. Uh, then the next step I will do is I can simply divide R3 becomes R3 by 33. So if I divide R3 by 33, I'm just going to get this as 1. So I get this as 1, 0, 0, 0. And then this is 0, 1, uh, 0, 0. And then 0, 0, 1. And this will become 22 by 33. And then these are all zeros anyways. Now there is just one last step that I have to do. And I can make this as 0. So to make this value here 0 over here, I'll do C4 becomes C4 minus, okay, I'll multiply this by 22 over 33. I'll multiply that with C3 and I'll, I'll subtract from here. So I make this also as 0. So finally, once I perform this operation, the matrix I'm going to get is 1, 0, 0, 0, the first row. The second row is 0, 1, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1. Now, when I do this, this operation over here, when I do C4 minus 22 by 33 C3, this will also become 0. So I'm going to get this also is 0. And the last row is anyway 0. 
So basically, I have reduced my matrix A in this form. The original matrix is given over here. And after performing both row and column operation, the step one says both row and column operations are allowed. I performed those and I got this as my matrix A. Okay. Now, as soon as you get this in a particular form, okay, all our identity matrix here. Now, just see there is a there is this identity matrix here. Okay. If you can see that this is identity matrix of size three by three. So I can write like this that this matrix A is nothing but I of size three by three and all other values are zero. That's what I mean by these zeros here. And when we write down A as I three, can you compare that A is same as some IT matrix and everything else is zero in this particular form. And the size of this IT matrix is nothing but the rank of A. Read row of A as a rank of A and rank of A in our case is three. So just note the point that this form over here is called as normal form of a matrix and from the normal form looking at the size of identity matrix we can decide the rank of a so we have found rank of matrix a and this was our method one